Because everybody attracts their own, or creates even, their own problems. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, whatever there is, it might be your ancestors, which have caused a problem in you. And that's why you are now attracting the other problems. But you have to go back even to your ancestors. Because it's all memory. And every event that ever happened in your life, or the life of your parents, or anything like that, it's all stored in light waves, in biophotons. And some event that might have happened 20 years ago, your cells have at that moment stored it. But your the light, it's stored in the information package, in a biophoton, which has at that moment, it was emitted. And now it is 20 light years away. But this memory you can recall instantly, <laughs> no matter how far it is. Because time does not exist. Time stands still. We move in time, but time stands still. That means that the past and the future are all one. They're all the now. Uh, <coughs> uh, time is a static, static spiral. And at the moment, we are here on the spiral. And uh, the future is here on the spiral. And there is the past on that, there on the spiral. But the spiral always stands. It's a standing wave, <coughs> uh, as they call it. So, <coughs> uh, <coughs> if you ask the body, the body doesn't block anything. Well, it can. If it's under very heavy stress, then the body lies. Then the body produces endorphins. The endorphins are the body's own morphine. And it's only produced if the body is under stress. That's why a lot of people with uh, ME, chronic fatigue, they have so many endorphins. You can't see anything. You first have to break the endorphins down, then you, then the body starts talking truth again. But as long uh, as there are endorphin production, you can't see anything. Also people with AIDS, you can't see anything. There are so many endorphins. And <coughs> that's why <coughs> they say AIDS can be for example, uh, it can be decades before it manifests. <laughs> but now, it depends how long is the body prepared to suppress? Or how long can it suppress? And when, after a number of years, people get symptoms, then the body has given up suppression. Then the body is trying to throw everything out. And if at that time you start therapy, the healing will be so fast. Because then also you and your body are working together. It's always <coughs> a matter of getting the body to cooperate. And nine times out of ten, this does not happen. You want, as Therapist, or you want your body to heal, but your body, you take pills and this, and your body says, hmm. to me, there's nothing wrong. I don't want to cooperate. And the trick is always to get the body to cooperate. Uh, because you are not your body. You live in your body, but that is different. And if there is disease problem in your body, then your body and your soul are not connected.
then because the soul is the one that has to heal. We all know that uh, any person can only heal him or herself. But it's not <coughs> himself, it's his or her soul that heals. But you can only do that if the soul is capable. <coughs> uh, that's why <coughs> uh, you always have to look at everything. You have to look at your environmental condition, your workplace, geopathic, uh, 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 burdening of your living quarters, uh, <coughs> chemicals that are in the air or uh, are <coughs> deliberately put there. Uh, <coughs> you have to look at everything and there is no single truth. Truth has 144 sides, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, a lot of information. I always take the cube as symbol of truth. <coughs> if this side is yellow, a person here will tell you that cube is yellow. And a person there will say, no, this cube is blue. And this is black. <coughs> no, this is red, and there, the other side is green. Uh, if person X moves to this corner, he can already see more of the truth. He sees two sides. And by movement, you broaden your consciousness. But no matter from which side you come, it all leads to the top, and the top is white. But one thing you can never see is the bottom. That dark. And that's where all the information comes from. If you have a crack, if you take this cube symbol as the physical world, if there are cracks in the physical world, it always is the foundation that is at fault. If you have a crack in your foundation, then you automatically get cracks in the physical structure. And this physical foundation is invisible. But not unmeasurable. <coughs> so, you have to shift your position you broaden, to broaden your consciousness. If you go up, you get a higher consciousness. But to, found, to find the foundations, you have to go down. And if you go down, that's where all the causes are. Uh, this we already had. Uh, 